guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to into episode 16 of The Rising of the Shield Heroes. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <coughs> I still wonder how the hell are you going to beat that thing? Oh, she's coming! You know, because ever since we saw this guy dang open, I kept wondering who the hell she is and when the hell she was coming. Finally, god dang it. <laughs> Maybe she's here for Melty? Natalia? Beetle? Maybe Beetle. I mean, she got wings too, for Christ's sake, so. Maybe? I hate allergy season. I just, I need it to be over. Getting sick and tired of random coughs, random sneezes, sniffs, itchy, watery eyes, everything. Mm hmm. Beetle! Yeah, you know, get them to safety and then try to come back and kick this thing's ass. Well, he's stupid. Eyes sense something. Oh, Beetle. Now we know. Why is it purple? Oh! But okay, hold on, no, 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 no. You see how many kids there are? There's like, what, three? You can't carry our th all three! Are you sure? Thank <laughs> you. 
all of them. See, those are the type of people who wait until the last minute, like, oh, hey, now let's run away. Oh, my God. But why, though? But, Sally, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think she would have gave it away so quickly, but no, it's okay. Far away from the town. They're opening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that girl should be coming in by now. to, like, possibly help. First the damn shield. You can't fucking cut it. Now, if Hito just does, like, a kick or whatever and knocks that thing down. Nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, I love the fact that she's so determined to get a hit, but it's just not working. No! That girl in the, in the beginning of the episode, she coming. Well, until she comes with everybody else. Excuse me. And they're all just different colors. It's so cute. Damn. No, stop. I mean, yeah, are you gonna like show yourself now? That's a big ass bird. I mean, um, big bird ain't got nothing on that bird. 
Even the chocobos ain't got nothing on it. Holy shit. My god. Let me guess, she gonna like slap the thing and then that's it. No, she gonna kick it. <laughs> like it didn't even phase her. Uh-huh. Let me guess you went fetal. She's pretty though. Rachel, I mean Rachel. So now about we go into a kingdom of fetals.
So what exactly do you want to talk about? You would be hungry. They'll be okay. Maybe she'll talk about it over dinner. <laughs> I kind of thought that everybody with Pino was going to be the only one to eat, and they would have looked at her and be like, You want to give them some? Like, no. <laughs> It's like the damn birds from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Just want to talk, remember? So exactly what do you want to talk about? Oh, the the dumbass did it. Well, it's gotta be fetal. Yeah, talking about is better. <clears throat> but you have some people who don't like to talk. Not naming any names. I kind of figured that, but I never really asked. That means the fucking king is all like, nope, just stay right here. Everything's fine. Forget about everybody else. Yeah. I'm not going to say that ma that doesn't make sense, but it doesn't make sense. Because if you hate humans, you wouldn't want to protect them. <laughs> Got a bad feeling about this. Oh. 
Duh. Sorry. This bitch. You can't be in one episode? Like, damn. I mean, I'm happy that she was only in here for like a second, but one episode, can't you stay up on that out? Well, it's happening. What is she about to do? I, excuse me? <laughs> How about not? You know, yeah, uh, okay, that means next week. Now for me, you, now for me, you need to get your ass back to that kingdom. You need to have a conversation with the three others, especially right. And be like, told you, I wasn't right. And be like, um, guys, if we don't get along and fight these waves, she gonna kill us. And <laughs> I'm not in the mood to die today. Uh -oh. <laughs> And she's saying like it's natural. We're like, yeah, I must kill them. No! Oh my god! That's the worst than freaking sound euphoria, but what's the reason I won't finish watching last night about casually saying, oh hey, that's my father. You casually say that like that. You know, like... And the next thing you know, I I'm not gonna... No. Now he gets killed in the next episode. That, But that's not gonna happen. But... Honestly, it's a good episode. I do like her, but then at the same time, because of the fact that she just said this, like, casually, like, she pulled that out of her ass. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no. Like, mm -mm. that means you need to get your girl, go back. <laughs> And talk to these three fuckers. I swear to God. Is she, like, is she dead ass? Like, the look in her eyes, she meant that, like, 100%. Like, yes, if y'all don't get along, I'm stuck killing. But, like, no! Don't do that. Like, mm -mm. I mean, you know, you can kill one of the three out of the four. That's fine. That's fine. We ain't gotta kill all four of them. Just kill one. And then kill his bitch. Because I, I feel like. Um, Malti, <clears throat> the reason why she kind of really doesn't want the other two to look more in depth on the situation of the quote unquote cult is possibly because she's a part of the cult, maybe? Um, and I'm like, I'm, I think I've been saying that for like the past few episodes, but I have like nothing to go behind it. But then, like, what she said in this episode, that's like. 50 50 percent proof but like i could be right and then i could be wrong about her i'm not saying like oh is it like oh she started to like her no i'm not liking this bitch i'm never gonna like this bitch again not after episode one fuck that bitch but it's just why would she be there when they're coming back that, that's a little weird to me so that means assumingly she had to follow them she she's waiting for the right moment to possibly attack these two and then it'll be like, mm hmm, you knew too much, like, you gotta die. But if she is a part of the church and a part of this cult, then she's doing all of this for the cult. She's gonna possibly kill these two and others who know about it because of the fact that she doesn't want secrets of the cult in the archives to get released. Because once it gets released, I think a lot of people are going to be looking at the church. Maybe the king herself, maybe even Melty, I don't know, um, 
maybe a little bit differently. I'm not 100% sure, but it's just the church and the cult, in a way, just it comes back to her. I don't know if it comes back to the kingdom, the kingdom itself, but it 100% in a way goes back to her. So she had something to deal with this, but I just don't know if I'm right. And I hate, like, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I just hate the fact that, like, I feel like I know something and I don't know if or when I'm going to get that answered. And I don't want someone in the comments to say, yeah, you're right about that. And they're like, God, don't tell me now. Let me, give me like, give me like a week and to figure it out. Maybe like a day and then come back in the comments and be like, yeah, you was right about this, but I'm going to tell you now so that you don't have to find out. And then once I know, and then yeah. But we'll find out maybe next week or episode 18. One of the two. I'm just hoping. But this woman fucking serious. She about to literally kill people. I'm just thumb. Uh, I'm shook for that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 16 of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all. <clears throat> Excuse me. My God. Allergies. Next Wednesday for episode 17. Bye, guys.